السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی دا لیٹر رائٹنگ مینی آف یو آر ویری اسکیئر اباؤٹ دی لیٹر رائٹنگ اینڈ اف یو پٹ پٹ لٹل بٹ ایفرٹ ان شاء اللہ یو ول بی ایبل ٹو رائٹ دا لیٹر آلسو because already you know three letters are there only and any two will be given and the bit is 11 so bit number 11 is a letter writing two letters will be given any one you have to write so in your textbook there is no translations of the letters that is why you are facing little bit problem so that is why i am going to translate the word to word then after the whole translations also will be given here so inshallah it will be very useful and fruitful for you for the intermediate second year examinations which is going to be held in the next month so let's go to study the letters among three letters This is the first one, as it is written here, Kitabatu Risalati, means letter writing. Risalatu min al-waladi il al-walidi. Risalatu means letter, min from al-walad, the boy, ila to al-walid, father. So the meaning is written here and the index examination also. on the question paper the meanings will be written a letter from a boy to his father this letter is consist on five marks there will be no other letters only whatever the letters are given in the textbook among these three letters anyone will be asked in the final examinations so here at tarikh 4 october 2019 tarikh means date october october here some word is cut here it is mahdi badnam haider abad and it is vilayatu tilan tilangana so vilayatun means state so telangana state walidi al muhtaram walidi my father al muhtaram respected so respected father assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah then arju i hope an takuna ma al afiyati wa salamati an takuna i hope that takuna you will be ma al afiyati wa salama fine so i hope that you will be fine so new nation also are given here means zabar zir pesh also is given arju is a one word an takuna ma al afiyati wa salamati ya abi ya means o oh. abi means my father ya abi o oh my father ana ai fi hajatin shadidatin hajat needs shadida very much fi in so ana fi hajatin shadidatin i am much needed ila 500 500 rubiyati rupees ala al aqal at least so i am much needed for the 500 rupees at least for what purpose li dafi ar rusum rusum is cut here 
لدفع الرسوم دفع ان کا مطلب ہے to pay for the payment of fees و تغطیت الحاجات حاجات needs تغطیہ fulfill and fulfill the needs for you so I hope that ان ترسل you will send المبلغ المطلوب المبلغ المطلوب مطلوب means required amount المبلغ والسلام علیکم ابنکم البار ابنکم your son البار obedient your obedient son then after توقیع توقیع means signature so this is the letter and remember you have to write in Arabic only if you write in English marks won't be given so after this means on the second page the whole letter is translated but remember you should not write the letter in English or in other languages it is necessary to write in Arabic only so it is for your better understanding the letter has been translated here date at tarikh date 4th october 2022 mahdi patnam hyderabad ts telangana state walidi al muhtaram respected father arju an takuna ma al afiyati wa salama hope you all are doing fine i need raise 500 towards payment of fee and for personal expenses hope you will make arrangement as soon as possible so farju an tursila al mablagh al matlub ibnukum al bar you are obedient son xyz tawqi means signature xyz no need to write the name so this is the first letter then after the second letter second letter is risalatum min at talib ila mudir al kulliya risala means letter min from at talib the student ila to mudir manager or head of the department or here because al kulliya is there al kulliya means college so ila mudir al kulliya to the principal of the college so a letter from a student to the principal requesting sick leave at tarikh date 4 october 2029 ila means to mudir al kulliya principal of the college al muhtaram respected respected principal al kulliyatul jadida it is the name of the college new college hyderabad al mawdu means subject talabu ijazatin maradiyatin what is the meaning of talabu ijazatin maradiyatin so it means sick leave request talab means request ijazatin marziya sick leave sayyidi sir assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah ana means already it has been uh, translated on the first letter ana means i talibun student fi in asaf class athani ashar 12th class intermediate second year fee in kulliyatika your college so i am a student of intermediate second year in your college ana marizun bi zukam ana marizun ana i marizun sick i am sick bi zukam zukam means flu means i have got flu arju i hope min fazlika an tasmah li min fazlika please min fazlika means please an tasmah li you will permit me or you permit me you allow me bil ijazat al marziya to take sick leave li salasati ayyam for 3 days salasa 3 ayyam days min from 5 october 2019 to ila 7 october 2019 Shakiran lak thanking you tilmizukum your student al muti' obedient then after talib saf thani ashar talib student of 12th class as saf class as thani ashar 12th class students of 
इंटरमीडिएट सेकेंड ईयर देन आफ्टर द सेम अरबिक लेटर इज बींग ट्रांसलेटेड हियर ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ द लेटर डेट फोर्थ अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू टू द प्रिंसिपल न्यू कॉलेज हैदराबाद सब्जेक्ट रिक्वेस्ट फॉर सिक लिव रिस्पेक्टेड सर आई एम अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ इंटरमीडिएट सेकेंड ईयर आई एम सफरिंग फ्रॉम फ्लू एंड हैव हाई फीवर I request you to grant me three days leave from 12th of December to 14th of December 2022. Shakiran Lak, thanking you in anticipation. Yours faithfully, X Y Z, Inter Second Year. So, this is the translation of second letter. So, if you study these two letters, it will be more than enough for you. No need to study the third one, but if you leave any one among these two, you have to study the third one also. So let's go to study the third one. This is the third one. This is the letter or. you can say this is the letter for seeking job so a letter for the post of translator mutarjim translator wazifa post talab request so at tarikh here also at tarikh 4 october 2029 ila to mudir sharika manager of the company al mawdu' this is ain not hamza al mawdu' means subject talabun li wazifati al mutarjim request for the post of translator so mutarjim translator wazifa post sayyidi sir assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah ursilu tafasil shakhsiya ursilu i am sending the curriculum vitae tafasil shakhsiya means curriculum vitae for what liman sabil mutarjim for the post of translator mansab post mutarjim translator then uh, al ism the name al ism means name what is the name abdullah tarikh ul milad tarikh milad milad date of birth tarikh ul milad Date of birth, twenty one two thousand twenty two. So it is not necessary to memorize the same. You can write your date of birth also. Al Muahilatul Akademiya means academic qualification. Al Muahilatul Akademiya, academic educational education or educational. abilities or you can say details of qualifications academic qualifications magister fil adab magister means ma master of literature or or you can say master in literature al unwan al unwan means address so no need to write the address just al unwan raqam al jawwal jawwal means mobile raqam means number raqam al jawwal mobile number so it is just uh, numbers are given so you can write 9090 9090 shakiran lak thanking you توقيع المقدم مقدم means who is going to present this uh, request توقيع signature توقيع المقدم so presenters presenters signature Abdullah then after application for post of translator so this is also translated date fourth October two thousand twenty two to the manager مدير الشركة ka manager subject application for the post of a translator sir 
enclosed please find my curriculum video i am submitting it for your consideration shakiran luck thanking you or here al ism name abdullah al ism means name what is the name abdullah tarikh ul milad date of birth 21 2000 al muahilat ul akademiya educational qualification magister fil adab master in literature liman sabil mutarjim as a translator raqam ul jawwal phone number ya mobile number al unwan address tawqi ul muqaddim means signature and abdullah abdullah so this is the third one which is not a letter which is the application for post of translator so these three uh, letters two letters and one application are word to word have been translated and the whole letters are also translated here for your uh, better understanding so it is my uh, suggestion to start the practice uh, from now only so you have at least one month in your hand if you put little bit effort so inshallah i hope you will get the full marks from this section also which is the bit number 11 for five marks you have to write the letter in arabic only don't write in english or in urdu or in any other languages if you do so marks won't be given so i hope inshallah you will study very well and you will get the full marks best of luck for the final examinations inshallah we'll see you in the next video with the new lessons also wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh